To borrow the words of former Governor Elmer Anderson, History has a way of repeating itself. In 2006, Democrat Mike Hatch was locked in a tight race for governor with Republican Tim Pawlenty. A few days before the election, Hatch's running mate Judy Dutcher appeared not to know what E85 was, and Hatch ended up losing the race. That foggy type of recollection is again an issue in 2010, except this time the question is not what is E85, or in this case E20, but did you vote for it or against it? And the roles between the parties are reversed. Now, my Republican opponent, Tom Emmer, has not supported biofuels, and I'm going to be very interested in his answer today because he's voted against it in 2008, in 2008 twice, in 2005, and, you know, it's interesting when people don't, they say one thing and they actually do another. You can always depend. I know where I came from. I know who I'm fighting for. I'm not sure where Margaret's looking, but uh, I had to ask because I'm pretty sure I voted for uh, the biodiesel mandate. I gotta make it clear that when I was listening to Margaret and I thought I voted for biodiesel, I voted for E20. So who's right? Tom Emmer did vote against the biodiesel mandate in 2008, but the bill contained provisions to promote E20, also known as ethanol. But Emmer also voted against E20 in 2005. That vote was pretty clear cut. The bill was totally about E20. At one point, he voted for it, but on the final vote, when it counted most, he voted against E20. So this statement, voted for E20, is at best a half-truth. Voted against biodiesel, but here's what I would tell you. 